Before I start off this video, if you are a um, huge Jaguar fan, um, you might not want to watch this video because I mean, you, you're not gonna like what I have to say about it. Um, it's not just, just, just you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so first thing that I want to announce is that I did this video the same day that I did the Corvette. So you know, if you see the same shirt, that's the reason why. All right guys, so what we have here is a 2018 Jaguar F-Pace, which um, I have the sticker right here, the sticker price. And to get this specific model, you know, with everything that is included on, which I will list everything, by the way, um, I'm going to be reading off of this because I had not planned to review this SUV, honestly. Um, I came for the Corvette, did the review on the Corvette, same day, and uh you know i saw it out there i wanted to get inside of one and you know see what it feels like see what all the hype about jaguar is and to be honest before i start off this review i want to tell y'all that this interior right here um it is you know i reviewed a lexus rx that you know was a loaner lexus let me borrow it while they were fixing my car if, you, if you're a subscriber if you're a subscriber to the channel you will know what i'm talking about and honestly that that SUV feels a lot nicer than this, you know, the material on this, you know, I don't want to bash on Jaguar and all, but I'm pretty sure, you know, they could do better than this, honestly, compared to that Lexus. So this is a 2018 um, Jaguar F-Space 35T Premium. Uh, exterior color is the Forenza Red, interior black, well, they call it Ebony. Um, so for... $48,975, you get yourself a 3-liter supercharged V6 engine that puts out 340 horsepower and 332 pounds of torque. Uh, you know, you do have your 8-speed automatic transmission. If you can see the, if you're seeing the automatic, uh, you know, the way to control the 8-speed the on this. The lever is pretty cool. I've seen it on a couple of Ford models. Uh, I'm not a big fan, but it looks really cool, honestly. You know, it feels weird, but still looks looks good. So well, it is, you know, this is all-wheel drive, so you know it's going to be a good all-around car. You have torque vectoring brakes, which that's pretty cool. All surface progress control, dynamic stability control. You got 19 five-spoke style wheels, and also the spare tire seems to be the same optional equipment on this suv the first thing i noticed was the panoramic sunroof and right here i'm gonna tell you how much that will cost you so everything that was added on to this car is was a total of 2145 dollars uh you get the vision package which the vision package includes xenon headlights with led signature headlight power wash front and rear parking aids blind spot monitoring reverse traffic detection emergency braking and lane departure warning and that will cost you take that back that just that will cost you a hundred two thousand a hundred and hundred and forty five dollars um for rent this, this color apparently will run you 565 you got your sd navigation 510 f space protection package 407 dollars gloss black roof rails 260 and ivani headliner which 285 which that is the black headliner and some of you guys that know me you guys know that i don't like any type of headliner that is not black simply because it gets dirty i had it on my first uh my 2013 lexus is and i didn't like it honestly i take that back i guess that that is you know standard on the premium because you know it is not listed on the optional equipment right, let me show you guys from my point of view what i mean by this suv you know for the price it does not stack up not even to my car honestly uh well interior wise and i'm gonna show you why all right so inside the suv the jaguar f space f pace um let me show you a funny thing and you know some of you guys are probably going to laugh with what i'm about to say but okay the way to control the mirrors is you know you do have this little um 
there's no nothing else I can compare it to besides like a nipple you see that it's like this little funny lever it's if it looks like a nipple feels like a nipple see that it's, it's weird looking you got your headlight controller right there you got your button that will display you more info such as your mile per, miles per gallon which see right there that is a pretty much a basic layout and I've tried and tried to see if I can get different anything different on that front on that middle LCD screen and nothing nothing comes up the buttons on the steering wheel pretty much control the screen up here in the middle so if we move on to the center screen you know you do have your buttons right here on the sides of the screen uh, it's a pretty nice looking screen you know pretty responsive actually uh, better better than the Corvette you know you don't have to pretty much press on the screen or anything to get any feedback you know like I, like I mentioned pretty responsive pretty basic it's like a Windows Windows uh, layout right here buttons though the buttons once you press on them you know they feel they feel real cheap I won't lie on that they do feel cheap I don't know if you can hear the clicking they do feel cheap feels like my xbox controller you know all the buttons pretty much are the same feeling you know you don't have that soft smoothness uh nothing like that you know pretty much all of them feel the same even the volume knob feels pretty much cheap so i don't want to bash on jaguar and all that but you see this right here this this all this it's like plastic it's like too much plastic so um on the honda accord that i reviewed a 2018 honda accord uh honestly it felt a little bit more better you know felt better quality on it than it, on this one um even the instrument cluster up here in the center felt better you know jaguar did do one thing right and that is to advertise himself all over the car you see it on the vans you see it right there on the on the glove compartment you see jaguar 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 so you'll see jaguar pretty much in every corner of this car uh so you know you don't forget what you're driving but honestly um they should have focused on better quality materials because this this is something i you know I would get annoyed because see when when your knees bumping on here let me show you guys when your knees bumping like on my car you know it has the little soft padding so you know it won't my knee won't hurt won't be hitting any plastic but on this you got nothing plastic and that is something i don't like so the most selectors will actually give you some more info on the uh, middle lcd screen besides that you're not going to see anything else honestly it's pretty basic it's pretty basic lcd right there nothing fancy nothing like that you can't even go through your settings like on other cars which is pretty weird so steer wheel leather wrapped uh plastic everywhere else even the bottom is basic honestly so you know you know but th this is the prestige model you get the portfolio or the sport mod versions which maybe the interior will look a little bit different i haven't driven or tested one of those so i cannot assure you that well let me show you guys the panoramic sunroof surprisingly it is standard with the premium model so So that is nice right there. The panoramic sunroof, it's pretty nice. Now let's open up. And that is as far as it'll open. Thought, I honestly thought it would go back a little bit more, but. So while I'm here, let me talk to you guys about your buttons for the panoramic sunroof and see, let's close it. And let's close the shade also. Well, actually, no, let's keep the shade open. But I just want to point out that there are really hard, like the buttons are really hard. And I know I'm being nitpicky about all this and, you know, probably being more negative than positive about this SUV. But honestly, that's how I feel. And I am not going to lie on a review. So let's move on to the back seat and we'll see uh, space back there, how it is.
So back here you have your two vents, Jaguar and Jaguar. Like I said, you will see Jaguar pretty much everywhere on this SUV. So you don't forget what you're driving, plastic. You have your USB, USB 12V, 12 volt power outlet. Little cubby to store, probably a bar of candy. Door handle, same materials up in the front. Leather, plastic, plastic right here not the most comfortable plastic and then you know the leather around you know the handle to close the door close and open the door um it is it is not thick enough not real stuff so it'll be comfortable i don't like it that's a thumbs down for me being back here in this f space um leather leather reminds me of a mustang roush that i've reviewed you know but this is just a, this is a bit softer than that one it feels not up to scale from what i was expecting from jaguar honestly like when i saw the the, the suv outside i looked at it, i was like that's luxurious that that is probably luxurious but i was wrong i, I am honestly disappointed in this um i would uh, you know uh, this is the first jaguar that i've been inside of but yeah, you know, I was actually expecting expecting a lot better than this. Besides the panoramic sunroof, you would not think this is a high-end brand or anything like that. There's nothing in this SUV that has left me like, wow. Except for the, the lever for the gears, the gear selector. Uh, that is pretty cool. But besides that, nothing else. You know, I'm pretty disappointed in this SUV. And, you know, this video is probably going to get a bunch of dislikes a thumbs down because of that but hey it's it's my opinion i would rather have that lexus rx which it was actually the ride was more comfortable than this one and you know this is a 2018 that one's a 2017 and you know we're talking about lexus and and jaguars so you know this is british the other one's japanese but i'm pretty pretty disappointed actually this is this is something i would not me Personally, I would not spend my 50 grand on this. You know, I would rather spend it on an RX. You know, I'll be more comfortable or something else. So I am going to finish off this video back here in the, on the back seat. Um, simply because whenever I move to the front, I want to go ahead and take this car back to the lot. And this is, <laughs> I don't know, guys. This is not, I'm, like I mentioned, I'm pretty disappointed. It looks basic, honestly. Um... Oh well. So I want to give a huge thanks to Daniel for letting me let me borrow this car for a video. Huge thanks to Gary Force Honda. Uh, check out their website. Check out Daniel's Facebook page. Give it a like. Um, shoot him a message if you're interested in this car, or any other cars that I review, or any car that you find on the website, and he will be happy to help you. Um, he's helped me with a couple of cars. He will probably help me with my next purchase. Um, it's gonna be a Corvette. Just want to give you that up uh, because of the previous video. I want to. I want a Corvette. I will have a Corvette, and they're just probably gonna hook me up with a Corvette soon. So we'll see. So thank you guys once again for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up um, or a thumbs down if you you know you don't agree with me with anything I've said about this car. But honestly, like I said, it feels cheap. Give me that give me that thumbs down if you if you disagree with me. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all in the next video and take it easy. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like post my lawn with that grass. Feeling like I'm up and I ain't coming down. I don't give no fuck, so I can't fuck around. You've been hating, I've been making observations on your fakeness. I'm